Hello little readers, welcome to Destiny's Reading Corner. My name is Destiny and in Destiny's Reading Corner I will be sharing with you my favourite books. I've got a big question, why is reading important? Hmm because it helps with your sleeping patterns, it gives you confidence and you learn new words. So grab your reading partner and come read with me on Destiny's Reading Corner. Tonight our very first book on Destiny's Reading Corner is The Magic Mirror, written by Diane. The Magic Mirror is a motivational story for girls like me to know they are beautiful just the way they are. Little Diane's mummy had a magic mirror. Little Diane always wondered what special powers the mirror had. One night at bedtime, her mum decided it was time to show Little Diane the magic of the mirror. Mummy sat on the bed and tucked in Little Diane. When I was a little girl just like you, Many people told me unkind things about myself that were not true. So one night, I wished with all my might to be able to hear the truth. When I woke up, I saw a beautiful shiny mirror on my bed. I asked myself, how did the mirror get there? Suddenly, I heard a voice reply, the answer is in your heart. Little Diane was very excited. She wanted to hear the voice just like her mum. Hold on, little Diane, said her mum. Before you can use the power of the magic mirror, the mirror has to choose you. Little Diane started to feel a bit sad. What if it doesn't choose me, mummy? She asked. There's one thing you need to know before you get started, mummy said with a smile. What is it, Mummy? Little Diane asked excitedly. You need to know who you are. I already know that, smiled Little Diane. I'm a little girl. But just then there was a tingling sound. Shh, Mummy said gently. The mirror is talking to me. It's telling me that you're more than just a little girl. You're the future of my kind. Really, Mummy? I am, she asked. The mirror whispered, of course, the answer is in your heart. Little Diane asked, mirror, mirror, what do you see when you see me? But the mirror didn't reply. I don't think the mirror chose me, mummy, she said disappointedly. Her mum said, Ask the mirror your question and you will find the answer in your heart. She gently touched little Diane's chest. She felt brave enough to try again. This time she squeezed her eyes shut and asked. Mirror, mirror, what do you see when you see me? I see the future of your kind. So surprised, little Diane opened her eyes and the voice continued. I see a girl with radiant skin, just like pearls. I see her hair is her true crown. Only a queen knows how to wear such a beautiful crown. I see her big bright eyes. They will see everything and show her all her worth. I see a unique nose to smell all the amazing scents of the world. I see those fantastic ears that will hear the voice of many truths kept inside her heart. I see large lips to draw a stunning smile. Don't forget things that will make you smile when life gets hard. I see those beautiful high cheekbones just like Africa's stunning mountains. 
these are all the truths you need to remember. As the voice suddenly appeared, it disappeared. Mummy, the mirror chose me and it told me all these wonderful things. Mummy smiled knowingly and kissed little Diane. Don't ever forget the truths you have learned this night. If you ever need to be reminded, just look in the mirror and tell yourself all those beautiful things the magic mirror told you. My little Diane, my little queen, I love you. Good night. Do you remember what the magic mirror said to little Diane? What do you think will happen when little Diane wakes up? When little Diane woke up, the magic mirror was on her bed. She went to her mum's room and said, Mummy, you left your mirror on my bed. Her mum shook her head and smiled. No, my mirror's in its place. She pointed to the mirror on her dressing table. Little Diane went back into her bedroom. She now had her very own mirror. She smiled. I wish for the truth and now I know it's always in my heart. The end. This book is very special to me, not just because it tells me how beautiful I am because it's written by my mother and it has some cool activity pages. I hope you enjoyed this story. Make sure to subscribe, like and share. See you next time. Bye. Good.